recording your own screen is fun and it's a great way to start making YouTube videos. However, the problem is, is that screen capture softwares are extremely expensive. My name is Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your computer screen in HD quality for absolutely free. Now to start, we're going to need the internet to download a program called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS. Now the great part about this software is that, not only is it free, but you can also use it for multiple different recording and streaming scenarios, including 60p. Now I'll have the link to the OBS website in the description below. Now the cool thing with this website is that they make it available for every version of operating system there is, including Linux. On top of that, they also make it very easy to download. So depending on what kind of OS you have, you can go ahead and download the respective version. Now once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it and we're almost ready to start recording. There are just a few quick settings that need adjusting before we do so. Now to adjust these settings, go ahead and press the settings button at the top of the window, which will bring you to the main settings menu. Now first off, we're going to slide over to broadcast settings and change the mode from live stream to file output only. Next, head down to the file path and change the save directory. Now to do this, simply navigate to the desired location on your computer, and then up in the directory bar, click in any open space to expose the code. You can then copy and paste this string of text into the file path section. Now doing this will ensure that all of your videos will be saved to this location. Now moving on to the video tab, this is where we can adjust our resolution. You can go ahead and leave this at none to record your whole screen. Now just below that is the frame rate. This can go all the way up to the max refresh rate of your monitor. So in my case, since I have a 60Hz monitor, I'm going to record at 60 frames per second. Now once you have input these settings, go ahead and click on apply, and then OK. Now the last step before we record is we need to create a scene and a source. Now creating them is a lot easier than it sounds. Just right click in the area that says scene, and press add scene. Now you can give it a custom name if you want, but it's not mandatory. Now likewise, right click the source box to add a new source. You will then be presented with a bunch of different options, however the ones that you really need to worry about are the window and monitor capture. The monitor capture will record your entire screen, while the window capture will only record a specified section of your panel. Now once you're done with this, you're ready to record. Do this by pressing the start recording button on the far right side, and finally minimize the window to keep it out of the video. Now once you're ready to stop recording, simply bring the window back up and stop recording. Now while OBS is a fantastic piece of software, I do have one complaint about it, and this is that the file names can get pretty strange. They're just a random string of letters and numbers that I suppose have something to do with date and time, but I'm not entirely sure. Now this can make it kind of hard when sorting through footage while editing, however if you name your files beforehand, this isn't a problem. But of course other than that, the footage is solid and you can get some pretty good looking stuff with it. Well that's all for this video. If you like this content, check out some of my others. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But anyway guys, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.